Alright, we're gonna start this video with an I don't give a fuck chart. I only eat fruit, and I don't give a fuck. So let's get started, and be enlightened. Uh, the health and fitness lifestyle. Why do so many freaking people fail at it? Well, I gotta tell you one thing, in this society, it's freaking expensive. So, leave it off on that. Some little work on my shoes over here. Got uh, about 500 miles alone in this month over mountain terrain just on these shoes. Probably got about 1,500 to 2,000 miles total. Uh, just releasing them up a little bit. But mountain trails are tough over here. Train's pretty tough. But for the health and fitness lifestyle, so many people are failing because one, society makes it expensive. First of all, they try to sell you shit that you don't need. You know, all these supplements, weight power, blah, 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 you know, I like to live simple, I've been doing better than most, I'm eating tomatoes over here. But, you know, in New York, I think of tomatoes like this would cost you like 10 bucks or something, some crazy thing like that. I say over here, it's not much at all, you know, you spend about a, about a, one addo. So a dollar, a dollar thirty, a dollar forty for all these over here. Um, these I actually picked from my garden, so they're free, you know, grow your own food, live simply, do a little better. But health and fitness lifestyle, they set it up so it's hard to get, so it's hard to get to because they, they want your money. If, you're, if you go to help somebody and they say they're helping you, but they want you to keep buying their shit, they're not really helping you. I, I say to people, if you want to help somebody, It'd be free of cost. Somebody gets into a traffic accident, you gotta pull them out of the car. It's, is it, pay me 50 bucks, I'll come save your life? Or, oh, wait, no, I'll get you out, I'll get you out, man, come on. Seriously, people? Another thing is uh, the social, uh, little social bubble. I call it the mosh pit. I don't know if I uh, brought this up to you guys before, but when you're in the mosh pit, crowded around a bunch of people, you don't know what's outside. You don't know what's outside the little bubble. But once you climb over and you come out onto the mountain, you see what a shithole that, that mosh pit, that crowd of people is, then you become open and you see how bad it is. But you're stuck there and it's hard to get out because society won't let you out, you know? You may think of it being a little expensive to get out of that little bubble, to reach your full potential, to be healthy. You go to a group of friends and they're and they're saying, "Oh, why do you why do you do all this? Why do you do all this running?" and things like that. And it's just like a social thing to you. You know, it's hard because I'm a little bit on my own over here. What I do is completely out there compared to everybody else. Yes, I still have my friends, and I like to hang out with them. But you know, it's just this thing. It's like I'm separate from everybody, and to be alone, you know. It's kind of awkward in society because, you know, your body, you want to adapt, you know, naturally, you want to adapt to your surroundings. You want to fit in with the crowd, but to do this, to be physically strong, to run up a freaking mountain every day, you got to go against the rules. You got to be a little bit of an outcast. I and mean, I guess you got to be a little bit crazy up here. And I could admit, maybe, maybe I lost some screws up here. Maybe I'm too damn pissed off about some things, but, you know, that's what you do to run a fast, fast marathon to beat top peak potential. So, all of this uh, juice over here. A little pesca, pesca. It's a uh, peach, you know. Probably give us a little go. Nice sweet fruit, get you carbs. You now, so, some some places in, places in the world it's easier to live healthier, such as where I am right now in Sicily, because you get free you know, cheaper juice, uh, nice and sweet. Drink a bottle of this a day. Good carbohydrates. Uh, it's not pasteurized, so all the minerals are in here from the peaches. In your tomatoes. But really, to think for yourself is hard. Understood? To actually think and go against what everyone else's way of thinking is. It's just it's simply hard. To put it at that way. Put it at that for you. So when someone, so when you go into, even to, onto the raw food lifestyle, 
and you listen to all these raw foodists, and also a lot of them are just freaking selling you shit, you know, stuff you don't freaking need. And people want to be all raw foodie and all, but they can't fucking do it because they can't afford it, you know, it's shit like that. You know, you could be healthier and, you know, jump the system and eat rice, you know, eat high carb, you know, eat the, the low cost things that aren't as healthy, but they're pretty healthy. I'm telling you, rice is pretty cheap. It's actually really cheap in New York and in America, and it's healthier for you, you know? You, you could stop eating shit that makes you sick, but start eating more of a whole food lifestyle. Get rid of the meat, get rid of the dairy. dairy. Stop torturing animals, stop killing things, you know? We got chickens over here, and they're just like people. I gotta tell you, I, I have no, I have no idea why somebody would want to shove a knife through the throat of these one thing, one of these things, because I think they're the cutest things in the world. You know, chickens are freaking awesome, man. I'm like, come on, you know, stab. I can't do it. I just can't freaking do it, man. I just can't. Just eat some tomatoes. Eat eat some fruit juice. Live simple. You gotta live simple. If you want to be more optimistic about the world, you got the world, you got to live simple. Get rid of the shit that you don't need. Now I can say I, I have more things than other people. I have my, my cell phone over here that you know takes video and I can put them up on YouTube. But you know, little things to try to get my message out to the world. But that's about it. Just live simple. You know, don't go into what everyone else does. Think for yourself. Don't have other people think for you. And I'm going to end the video on that note today. So if you guys like this video, comment and subscribe. And I'm next door to where I'm staying. I may stay in this little house there. We have all these little huts actually. It's kind of cool. And I like to, I think there's a little bit of work in here, but <laughs> let's go living simply guys. You got, you got a shower over here. You got some spiders up there. Yeah. Oh shit. There's lizards in here. So I'm gonna stay tonight. And you got a room. Yep, my my ukulele over here. Now, yeah. you know, stuff like this makes you happy, but it doesn't cost anything. This is the mountain. This is a date palm. You got some dates. You got some. You like dates? You got you got them. You got them right here. You got, you got figs. We got so many. I can't wait till these figs come out, and guys. When I when I give these to you guys, oh man. All right, so. Please help me out, guys. Spread the message. And always, thanks for watching here on the Coyote Local Show.